high schools, uh, we just talked about clutch engagement. Understand that it's all about your fingers on the clutch lever as far as one to two, okay? One for if you're a little stronger of a guy. Some of these little kids I know have issues with just using two, uh, trying to have an issue. You know, another issue arises is having the, the arm strength. You want to spend some time squeezing a tennis ball, racquetball to get that strength build up. Just that be, way you can use the proper amount of fingers on the clutch lever and therefore down the road have better clutch engagement, better clutch, clutch um, habits. Now I just want to show you on the bike, I'm going to start it up here, I'm obviously not going to leave because I don't have a helmet on, um, but I'm going to show you as far as how much my clutch is actually moving when I'm working from the engagement point. Understand that's where you want to work from. A lot, again, you don't want to be this guy who pulls the clutch all the way in and then releases it and you're done with it. You need to have a good habit of keeping one finger on the clutch at all times. For a simple fact, it keeps you at, it keeps you under better control. If you were to catch a tree, okay, before it can, you know, the power can get shut off. A lot of times, if you just pull the clutch in, the shower, the you'll regain your composure by shutting the power off to the rear wheel. Therefore, the front wheel stops moving. A lot of times, in most cases, guys get back here and there's no hand on the clutch, and it's hard to shut the throttle off in this position. But if you just had a finger on the clutch lever, you could just pull that in, therefore killing power and being able to regain control. All right, so pay close attention about clutch engagement and how, how much my hands actually, my fingers are actually moving. That's clutch engagement. You can obviously see that my fingers didn't move very much. It helps with timing, and this is definitely something that needs to be addressed when we start to do lofting our front end, as far as lofting our front end over our log, and having better sense of clutch control, finding that engagement point and working from there. Not all the way into the grip, not all the way out. Thank you, and this is Rich Laffrey with Rich Laffrey Riding Schools. Um, what I just did was the slow man race, okay? A lot of teachers that also teach off-road schools do this same drill. It helps with a lot of things in mastering the controls. Clutch control, a little bit of throttle control, and brake control and balance, okay? Starting this into something like this, um, first gear, you're going to let the clutch out. Um, once you let the clutch out, you're going to stand up and try and gain, regain some balance. Slow the bike down by pulling in the clutch lever just a little bit, okay? and seeing a little bit of 